Have you ever felt stuck during your spiritual awakening? Well, I have some news for you. There are tests you must pass and things you must do in order to have growth in your spiritual awakening. Keep watching to find out what they are. Facing the void is the starting point of the spiritual journey. It's about looking within oneself and acknowledging the emptiness that exists. This emptiness isn't a negative thing. It's a space where our old identities, beliefs and attachments reside. By confronting this emptiness, we begin to unravel these layers that have been built over time. It's like peeling away layers of an onion to get to the core. Embracing the void isn't easy, but it's crucial for spiritual growth. It's about becoming deeply aware of who we truly are beyond our external labels and roles. This awareness allows us to connect with something greater than ourselves, a universal consciousness that permeates everything. When we embrace the void, we undergo a transformation. We start to see ourselves and the world around us in a new light. We let go of the need to define ourselves based on external factors and instead focus on our inner essence. This shift in perspective brings clarity and a sense of liberation. The void isn't something to be feared or avoided. It's a gateway to deeper self-discovery and connection. It's where we confront our fears, insecurities and illusions. By facing these challenges head on, we pave the way for profound growth and spiritual awakening. Seeing the divine is about recognizing the sacredness in everything around us. It's understanding that there's a deeper meaning and purpose to life beyond what we can see with our eyes. When we see the divine in all aspects of existence, we start to feel a sense of reverence and interconnectedness. This recognition of the divine fosters a deeper appreciation for the beauty and wonder of the world. It helps us see that everything is interconnected, that we are all part of something greater than ourselves. When we see the divine in others, we treat them with kindness, compassion, and respect. Seeing the divine isn't just about acknowledging the existence of a higher power. It's about embracing a way of life rooted in love and compassion. It's about living with purpose and intention, knowing that our actions have ripple effects beyond what we can imagine. Maintaining this perspective amidst challenges requires vigilance and commitment. It's about staying grounded in our faith and trust in the divine plan, even when things seem uncertain or difficult. When we see the divine in every situation, we can find meaning and purpose even in the darkest of times. Trusting in the universe is about having faith in a greater plan that guides our lives. It's about surrendering to the flow of life and trusting that everything happens for a reason, even if we can't always see it in the moment. When we trust in the universe, we let go of the need to control every aspect of our lives and instead embrace the journey with open arms. Trusting in the universe doesn't mean being passive or complacent. It's about taking inspired action while also trusting that the universe will support us along the way. It's about listening to our intuition and following the signs and synchronicities that guide us toward our highest good. Trusting in the universe can be challenging, especially when we're faced with obstacles or setbacks. But it's during these times that our faith is truly tested. It's about having the courage to surrender to the unknown and trust that everything will work out in the end. When we trust in the universe, we release the burden of worry and fear. We understand that everything is unfolding exactly as it should and that we are being guided every step of the way. This trust brings a sense of peace and serenity knowing that we are supported and loved unconditionally. 
Letting go of the ego is a pivotal step on the path to spiritual awakening. The ego is the part of our identity that is based on external factors such as achievements, possessions, and social status. It often seeks validation and control, leading to suffering and separation from our true essence. When we let go of the ego, we release the grip of these attachments and illusions. We recognize that our worthiness isn't determined by external measures, but by our inherent value as human beings. Letting go of the ego allows us to embrace humility and authenticity, freeing us from the need to constantly prove ourselves to others. The ego often thrives on comparison and competition, leading to feelings of inadequacy and superiority. But when we let go of the ego, we cultivate a sense of interconnectedness with all beings. We see ourselves in others and recognize that we are all part of the same divine essence. Letting go of the ego isn't easy, as it requires us to confront our deepest fears and insecurities. It's a process of surrendering to the present moment and accepting ourselves exactly as we are. But in doing so, we find a profound sense of liberation and inner peace. The test of judgment is a significant challenge on the journey of spiritual awakening. Judgment arises from the mind's tendency to categorize and label things as good or bad, right or wrong. When we judge ourselves or others, we create separation and disharmony, blocking the flow of love and compassion. Releasing judgment requires us to cultivate awareness of our thoughts and emotions. It's about noticing when judgment arises and choosing to respond with compassion and understanding instead. By practicing non-judgment, we open ourselves up to greater acceptance and unity. Judgment often stems from our own insecurities and biases. When we judge others, we are reflecting our own internal struggles and projecting them onto the external world. But when we release judgment, we create space for empathy and connection, fostering deeper relationships and understanding. The test of judgment invites us to question our assumptions and beliefs. It challenges us to see beyond surface appearances and recognize the inherent worth and dignity of every being. When we let go of judgment, we embrace the diversity and beauty of the human experience. The test of patience is a fundamental aspect of the spiritual journey, requiring us to cultivate endurance and resilience in the face of challenges and uncertainties. Patience is the ability to remain calm and steadfast, even when things don't go according to plan or unfold at the pace we desire. During times of difficulty or waiting, impatience can arise, leading to frustration and stress. However, the test of patience invites us to shift our perspective and embrace the present moment with acceptance and grace. It's about trusting that everything is unfolding as it should, even if we can't see the bigger picture. Cultivating patience requires practice and mindfulness. It involves staying present and centered, rather than dwelling on past regrets or worrying about the future. By surrendering to the flow of life and trusting in divine timing, we can navigate challenges with greater ease and resilience. Patience is not about passivity or resignation. It's about taking inspired action while also allowing things to unfold naturally. It's about finding balance between effort and surrender, knowing when to push forward and when to let go. By cultivating patience, we develop inner strength and wisdom empowering us to overcome obstacles with grace and dignity. Accepting impermanence is a cornerstone of spiritual growth, urging us to acknowledge the ever-changing nature of existence. 
Impermanence teaches us that nothing in this world is permanent or fixed. Everything is in a constant state of flux. When we accept impermanence, we embrace the flow of life and let go of attachment to outcomes or possessions. We understand that clinging to things or experiences only leads to suffering as they are bound to change or fade away eventually. Instead, we learn to appreciate the beauty of each moment, knowing that it is fleeting and precious. Accepting impermanence requires us to surrender to the natural rhythms of life. It's about releasing the illusion of control and trusting in the divine order of things. By embracing change as a natural part of the human experience, we can navigate life's ups and downs with greater ease and resilience. Impermanence teaches us to live fully in the present moment, savoring each experience without clinging to the past or worrying about the future. It invites us to cultivate gratitude for the blessings in our lives and to find peace in the midst of uncertainty. Embracing solitude is an essential aspect of the spiritual journey, providing a space for inner reflection, growth, and rejuvenation. Solitude is not about isolation or loneliness, but rather about intentionally withdrawing from the distractions of the external world to reconnect with our inner selves. In solitude, we have the opportunity to quiet the noise of everyday life and listen to the whispers of our soul. It's a time for introspection, self-discovery, and deepening our understanding of who we are beyond our roles and identities. Solitude allows us to explore our thoughts, emotions, and beliefs without the influence of others. Far from being a retreat from life, solitude is a preparation for meaningful engagement with the world. By nourishing our inner world, we become better equipped to navigate the complexities of our external reality with clarity and authenticity. Solitude strengthens our sense of self and empowers us to show up fully in our relationships and endeavors. Embracing solitude doesn't mean avoiding social interactions or responsibilities. Instead, it's about finding a balance between solitude and social engagement, recognizing the importance of both in our lives. Solitude provides us with the space to recharge our batteries and replenish our spirit so that we can continue to give and serve others from a place of wholeness and abundance. Overcoming the tests on the spiritual journey brings numerous benefits that enrich our lives and deepen our connection to the divine. One significant benefit is enhanced spiritual growth. Each test we overcome strengthens our inner resilience and expands our consciousness, propelling us further along the path of self-discovery and enlightenment. By facing and transcending challenges such as encountering the void, letting go of the ego, and releasing judgment, we gain profound insights into the nature of reality and our place within it. We develop greater compassion, empathy, and wisdom, which not only benefit ourselves, but also ripple out to positively impact those around us. Overcoming these tests leads to a deeper understanding of our spiritual path. As we navigate through the trials and tribulations of the journey, we gain clarity about our purpose and direction in life. We recognize the interconnectedness of all beings and our role in contributing to the greater good of humanity and the planet. If you're still watching, I'd like to thank you for your attention. If you enjoyed the content and want to see more, please consider clicking the subscribe button. Your support is very appreciated. Feel free to share your experiences or thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, take care and stay tuned for more insightful content.